whether she's referred to as the original Wonder Girl, Troya, or Darkstar, this Amazonian warrior is a force to be reckoned with. Created by Bob Haney and Bruno Primiani for The Brave and the Bold number 60 in July of 1965, Donna Troy was originally intended to be a young Wonder Woman and a young Hippolyta. You see, due to the publication of the book Seduction of the Innocent by psychiatrist Frederick Wortham in 1954, parents became untrusting of comic books. So, DC began a new initiative to bring more younger heroes into their comics that would be acceptable to parents. By issue 123 of Wonder Woman in 1965, Wonder Girl stopped being a past version of the two characters and started being her own person. Her new origin was revealed in Teen Titans number 22 from 1969 by Marv Wolfman and Gail Kane. In the comic, Wonder Girl was actually an orphan who Wonder Woman had rescued during an apartment fire. When Diana was unable to find the girl's family, she took her to Paradise Island, which is now known as the Mascara. It was there that she would be raised by Wonder Woman's mother, Queen Hippolyta, and eventually given Amazonian powers. After this, she donned a red bodysuit and became known as Wonder Girl. In 1984, Robin learned more about Donna's past while investigating the fire which brought her to the attention of Wonder Woman. Her birth mother was a dying unwed teen by the name of Dorothy Hinckley who put her up for adoption. She was then adopted by Carl and Faye Stacy, but was taken back to the orphanage after Carl was killed in a work-related accident. While in the orphanage, Donna became the victim of child trafficking, which ended with the deaths of the criminals involved when the building's furnace exploded, which caused the fire. Thanks to Robin, Donna was then reunited with Faye, who had remarried and had two children with her husband. Donna eventually married Terry Long in Tales of the Teen Titans number 50 from February of 1985. It was eventually revealed that she was actually created from clay to be a playmate for Diana. After this, however, Crisis on Infinite Earths rewrote the origin story of the entire DC Universe, including that of Donna Troy. She was reintroduced in Wonder Woman Volume 2, number 1, in 1987, and in the new Teen Titans 50 through 54 in 1988 and 89, her new origins were revealed. In this new origin, the Titan Rhea, who was the Greek Titan of the Earth, an older sister to Cronus, had rescued a young Donna from a fire. She, along with the villainous Sparta, had been part of a group of 12 orphans from across the universe who were to be raised on New Cronus by the Titans as Titan Seeds. It was here they were given superhuman powers and named after Greek cities and stripped of memories of their time with the Titans of Myth and sent back to Earth. Donna eventually learned that this was also an implanted memory and when those memories were activated she took on the code name of Troya. Donna eventually learned the truth of her origins in that she was created by the witch Derino from parts of Queen Hippolyta, and born to be the perfect Amazon and challenge Diana's claim to the throne of Themyscira. In the New Titans Annual number 7 from 1991, Donna discovered she was pregnant, but was confronted by the Teen Titans from the future, who claim her baby is born with self-awareness and the powers of a god, which drives him insane and becomes known as Lord Chaos. Thus, the Teen Titans are intent on destroying him before he's born. However, Donna sacrifices her powers in order to give birth to a powerless infant and gives him a normal life. Eventually, Donna requests that the Titans of Myth restore her powers, but was rejected before joining the Dark Stars and takes the name Dark Star. She and Terry eventually divorce, and she loses custody of baby Robert to him. After this, she dated Kyle Rayner for a time and retired from the Dark Stars. Robert was eventually killed in a car accident alongside his dad and half sister. It is this event which led to her and Kyle to break up. In the late 90s, her origin was updated yet again as being created on Themyscira by the Amazonian sorceress Megala to be a duplicate of Diana, but was soon kidnapped by the Dark Angel, who thought she was actually Diana. The villainess cursed her to live endless variants of life characterized by suffering. Because of this, Donna's life was erased from her own and the world's memory each time she was at her lowest until Dark Angel would appear to restart Donna's life, which caused her to recall all her past lives and suffering. She was eventually restored, however, with the help of Wonder Woman, Hippolyta, and Wally West, 
who were the only people who actually remembered previous versions of Donna. With this, she regained her powers. At one point, Queen Hippolyta realized that Donna was created from a portion of Diana's soul and thus accepted her as a princess of the Mascara and held a coronation for her. Donna was eventually thought killed by a rogue Superman robot in Titan's Young Justice crossover entitled Graduation Day, but was shown to be alive on a distant planet. She would then return in the DC special The Return of Donna Troy, where she actually discovered that she was a merger of every alternate version of herself throughout the multiverse. Unlike other DC characters, however, she is the repository of knowledge of every alternate version of herself and remembers the original multiverse. It was then revealed at the end of the story arc that she was actually killed by the Superman robot, but was resurrected by the Titans of Myth after realizing that she was the child who was destined to save them from some impending threat and brought her to New Cronus, where they implanted false memories in her. Her memories were then restored by the New Titans and the Outsiders, and she eventually banished the Titans of Myth to Tartarus. During the events of Infinite Crisis, Donna was charged with guarding the Universe Orb, which contains the Multiverse Chronicles, which were collected by a Harbinger. She then makes the discovery that the DC Universe faces impending doom, which Pit herself, Animal Man, Cyborg, Firestorm, Herald, Bumblebee, Red Tornado, Shift, Alan Scott, Kyle Rayner, Kilowog, Jade, Starfire, Supergirl, and Captain Marvel Jr against Alexander Luther from an alternate Earth. It's revealed that Donna should have actually sacrificed herself to save Kyle Rayner instead of Jade, which set the timeline on a diverged path. In one year later, Donna took up the mantle of Wonder Woman after Diana stepped down following Infinite Crisis. It was here that she was given a new origin, which was a hybrid of previous origins. In this origin, Donna was a magical twin of Diana, created by the Amazon Megala, and intended as a playmate for Diana. Donna was then captured by Dark Angel, and placed into suspended animation for several years. Eventually, Wonder Woman freed Donna and returned her to Themyscira, where she was trained by both the Amazons and the Titans of Myth. She then followed Diana into Man's World and became Wonder Girl. She returned the title of Wonder Woman to Diana and tells everyone she prefers to simply be known as Donna Troy. She then plays a major role in Countdown to Final Crisis and joins the Justice League before the company-wide reboot called The New 52. Donna was reintroduced as an Amazon created by the Sorcerer Darano as an attempt to take Diana's place as the heir to the Amazonian throne. But Donna was defeated by Diana, at which point Donna goes into self-appointed exile to discover who she truly is. In another twist, Donna is shown to have been a founding member of the Teen Titans, but an encounter with telepath Mr. Twister erased the Titans' memories. She was then chosen by Zeus to replace the Fates as the new embodiment of Fate known as the Fate of the Gods. In DC Rebirth, Wally West returned to the DC Universe and revealed that 10 years had been stolen from everyone and history had been rewritten. Once touching Wally, everyone's memories were restored. Donna Troy appeared as Wonder Girl in the Superman Aquaman Hour of Adventure in 1967 and was voiced by Julie Bennett. She then appeared in the 1984 new Teen Titans Say No to Drugs public service announcement from Hanna-Barbera. In Young Justice, she's voiced by Grey Delisle and is the ambassador for Themyscira at the UN. And in Teen Titans Go, where she's voiced by Hinnon Walsh. She is currently being portrayed by Connor Leslie in the series Titans on HBO Max. I hope you guys enjoyed this special Wonder Woman week of history and origins, even if this episode was somewhat confusing. Make sure you head on over to Cool Classics to watch Greg's videos on the lives of Linda Carter and Gal Gadot as well as the weapons of Wonder Woman. Until next time, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.